Praise God, brethren. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we thank you for this beautiful day that you're giving us. As we go through, Lord Almighty, the book of Romans today, continue ministering to us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray, trusting and believing. Amen. Dear friends, we come to the end of Romans chapter 1 today. And today, we will be focusing on the three things that God has done to a man who has refused to hear and to follow him. Paul explains in verses 24, verses 26, and verses 28 exactly what happens to a man when he continuously rebels against the will of God. In verses 24, Paul says, Therefore, therefore, God gave them over in the sinful desires of their hearts. God gave man over to the sinful desires of his heart. In verses 26, he says, Because of this, God gave them over to the shameful lust. God gave, a, gave man over to the shameful lust. And in verses 28, he says again, Furthermore, since they did not think it worth right to retain the knowledge of God, he gave them over to a deprived mind. Three things happen here. God gives man over in verses 24 to the sinful desires of, to the, over to the sinful desires of their hearts. Man is now in bondage to the self. He follows the desires of the heart. He follows the wills of the passion. In verses 26, God gave man over to the shameful lust. God gives man over to bondage to sin. Now he's in bondage to sin. And in verses 28, we see that he gave them over to a deprived mind. Now man is in bondage to Satan. He's being controlled by Satan. And you can see the resulting things that happen when these three bondages happen to man. When God gives man over to bondage to sin, to bondage to self, and to bondage to Satan, man becomes this. They become filled with every kind of wickedness. Evil, greed, and depravity. They are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, and malice. They are gossipers, slanderers, God-haters, insolent, arrogant, and boastful. They invent ways of doing evil. They invent ways of doing evil. They disobey their parents. They are senseless, fatherless, heartless, and ruthless. And although they know God's precious decree, that those who do such things deserve death. They not only continue to do these very things, but they also approve those who practice them. Have we become inventors of evil and celebrators of evils? Then let us know these things. God has given us over if we have reached to that level. Let us turn back to him. Shalom.